we've just arrived at a very, very windy Chitwood Dam. It's um, not exactly pleasant at the moment. However, Vladimir the crocodile does not seem to be, well, really worried at all about the wind, which is quite cool. Sitting out on the bank, sunning itself nicely. Just what a crocodile loves to do. Now, because we were visiting Chitwa, I obviously had lots and lots of questions for the general manager from Steph. And one of them was, have you had any confirmation if you have a male and female crocodile or what the sexes are of them? And good news, Boris is not a boy. Boris is a girl. So Boris is no longer a, an acceptable name for the crocodile that has an, well, an entire ta tail. You may have seen very quickly that Vladimir, which is one of the key identifying features of this particular crocodile, that he's got notches out of his tail. He's missing the tip of it, which actually helps us quite a bit. That's pretty cool. But we can only sort of tell the difference when they are out of the water. Now we need to think of a more suitable name for Boris and make it feminine. What do you think, Seb? It has to start with a B and probably sound quite... Belinda? So, so this, is, this is still Vladimir, right? This is still Vladimir, yes. He has not changed. a new name for Boris. Boris, because Boris, I think, it's a bit... Bridget! I like that. Bridget the Crocodile and Vladimir. I don't know, if you've come up with anything quite quirky, you're welcome to share that with us, <laughs> which is quite exciting. But um, that's really quite nice. Apparently, Steph was saying though, a few days ago, he actually witnessed them mating which is really cool. I've never seen crocodiles mating before, so I'm hoping to, of course, catch a glimpse of that. So I will be visiting Chitwa as often as I can over the next few days to see if I can see something like that happen. Like I said, I don't know really too much about mating crocodiles at all, which but they have had eggs before and they have had some hatchlings and they suspect that there's one or two crocodiles that are actually offspring from Vlad and Boris that are now living on Little Gari. <laughs> Tristan says we're not allowed to change Boris's name. Shame, Tristan. <laughs> it's mean. But that's not all that lives down at uh, Chitra Dam. We've actually got one of our favorite friends. And I remember, if I remember correctly, Aaron, who actually requested it, uh, that we could try and find the fish eagles. We haven't found both of them. But w one of them is in the difference. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm getting hate from Tristan and from, and from Brent all the way in Kenya. They both said we can't change the name of uh, Boris. What about Borisette? Borelina? No, that's a terrible. Let's disregard those. But here's an African fish eagle. Some of you, if you're watching from the States, are probably going, hey, that looks like our bald eagle. Hmm. Look very similar, don't you think? My beautiful birds, however, sitting up on the tree. It doesn't seem to really be looking for anything to eat at the moment. Uh, it was sitting on a tree closer to the water's edge, which is typically where they'll perch themselves, because as the name suggests, they love to catch fish, but they'll catch a number of different things too. We've had amazing sighting of one eating a red-billed buffalo weaver. There's a couple of Egyptian geese goslings around at the moment, so they better be very, very careful. But instead of looking for food, it's really just holding on for dear life. You can see how windy it is. That's a marula tree that's blowing behind it. It's not standing on on a, a marula tree at the moment and those branches are quite tough so for them to be blowing around as vigorously as they are uh, suggests that well obviously the wind is harding that's obviously the conclusion that you would come up with the branches are moving in there i'm being captain obvious today as you can see but um, it's quite difficult to tell the difference between male and female african fish eagles the fish female fish eagle is a little bit larger so when they're sitting on the same perch that can help slightly but otherwise, when they're on their own, it's, it's, it's not the easiest thing to even a, a seasoned safarian would uh, struggle uh, to be able to tell them apart when they're separate. I mean, I'm trying to figure out where they are. N now, what we're going to do is we might actually play the nest game. And uh, some of you are going to be very excited. Uh, we were told about a gymnogene nest, an African harrier hawk nest on Chitwa. So I think from here, because the hippos aren't around, we'll go back that side and we'll try and have a look at it and see if uh, anybody's home. But let's go across to Tristan. He's doing tracking and he's tracking the tallest creature of them all.